Okay, well I'm back to working with the uh, crystalline cells and um, John Bedini has given us a formula, a very distinct formula for a hydrate crystal cell, a cooked one. And you can find the uh, how to build this at the energeticforum.com on the Bedini Earthlight thread at this post, 2564. It's the energeticforum.com, the Bedini Earthlight thread, and the post 2564. And he has given us uh, uh, very specific and detailed instructions on how to build that cell. And uh, what it is, is it's a Rochelle salt, Epsom salt, sodium silicate, and it's doped with uh, iron pyrite and magnesium filings. The electrodes are heat-treated copper that form a semiconductor on the surface of the copper and uh, a pure grade of magnesium for the magnesium electrode. And these are cooked. Uh, this uh, formula is cooked uh, in a specific way to a certain temperature at a certain consistency to form that cell. And when that cell first comes out, it's very gooey and sticky. Then it dries up. And if it, if it loses too much of its moisture, it stops, and then you have to add water. The reason that I'm so interested in this cell is that the dynamic of how this all works, the magnesium electrode, according to John, and this is, uh, I don't think he would have posted this unless he had done extensive testing, the magnesium will form some sort of an oxide coating and not deteriorate it'll go to a certain point and stop. It'll passivate, basically. And that's what I'm testing right here. I'm going to be building a much larger one of these to run uh, run more. But uh, this particular cell uh, puts out more power than what I'm used to working with. And another reason that I'm, I'm going back and looking at this is that thing right there that I built uh, months ago, um, works in a similar way. Yeah, that was a concrete mixture with copper and zinc with um, water at the bottom of it basically leached up inside that thing and depending on how I juggle the chemical composition down there this thing kept going and if it did eat away too much of the uh, zinc I just ground it down and started over and um, this is a, a hydrate type of thing where um, it's being hydrated with water and the chemical reaction keeps on going and doesn't completely destroy the zinc. Now John says that the zinc cells that he and Chuck have tried do not work. And that's why I wanted to look at this uh, cell here and to see if uh, what I'm seeing there is different than what I'm seeing here. And it all goes back to this little gal. And you can't even hear her eyes or see her eyes blinking, but she's still going. And that's an IB pointless stovetop cell that was built back in August. Um, and today is the uh, 28th, I believe, of uh, January 2012. That was built in August of 2011, and it's still going. You probably see your eyes go there. And uh, there is something too these crystal cells that fascinates me and I believe what is happening on these crystalline cells is an oxide forms on the magnesium and the copper and somehow protects the uh, the metal from being eaten up with galvanic action and somehow some way um, these are absorbing energy and John says it's thermal it's in the uh, thermal range in the uh, far infrared and they use the ambient heat in the home to produce the energy so anyway this is what I'm working on right now is these uh, crystalline batteries back working with those again thanks for watching